<laughs> My theme for the day is let go and let God. And I just said you have no God. And that seems super homophobic it's, to me. It's not. It's not. <laughs> one take one marker. Jesus did died for our sins, out? so if what the candle just went out. Oh. Your slate blew out the candle. No, oh. it was out before I got up here. Oh no, is the wick over? Oh yeah, I think so. It's, it's probably that good. Smell. We, sh we should keep yeah. the sense away from your unborn Are child. Are you kidding me? You've been burning parabens around my pregnant ass. <laughs> You don't smell it or see it? <laughs> I assumed because I've said multiple times since prior to pregnancy, I don't want to be around your paraben fucking burning ass. You would have respected that wish at least once in the past three years. You watch me light it. I assumed you would if not you be said, lighting a paraben I candle forgot, in my presence. I'm sorry that when I lit the candle, I wasn't thinking of the unborn child. I'm not. It's just, all of us. All of us can get cancer from it and die. It's not about the unborn child. Sick of your weird sense. <laughs> My kids aren't allowed to play with yours. I'm sick of your homophobia. It's all Telling homophobia. me I don't have a god. That's not because you're Acting gay. Acting like I'm not going to heaven. That's because you've been burning <laughs> parabens around the your F friends word. unbeknownst Just because I'm an F word? <laughs> no. You don't want to even be my listen, friend anymore? Listen. No, I had to call Lizzie for emotional support this morning. I said, hey, I'm not doing good. And she said, are you crying too? And I said, almost. And now I don't even care because you've been poisoning me for years. <laughs> so why were you having a bad morning? Oh, I'm just pregnant. Everything makes me cry. <laughs> My friend asked me to speak at her wedding and it's been making me cry for two days. Oh, no, that's a big to do. It's a short talk, but I'm going to cry the whole time. I cry the whole time at weddings anyway. I have like violent fucking. This better not be the wedding you're trying to drag me to uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to address this. <laughs> no. Lizzie goes. She goes, hey, so Joe's not going to be able to make it to this wedding, but I don't want to go alone, uh, which, listen, it could be your best friend in the world. You don't want to go to a wedding alone. It's not like you're hanging out with your best friend that's getting married. Mm -hmm. She's busy. She has a hundred and whatever people yeah. coming to a party for her. She's got to make her rounds. And to be fair, my other best friend is going, but she's in the bridal party and I am not. So I will be alone. And she goes, so are you okay to take Joe's place? And I said, well, if it's local, then yeah, I'll just get drunk and have a really fun dad's night out. Yeah. And it's then local. she goes, but I'm not going to tell her that I'm not having Joe. And I said, no, I'm not going to wedding crash with you. you. Are, I'm not though. just going to. I will not. You have to. No, tell you are. No. So who is blowing me up? Okay. It's my husband. <laughs> what a bitch. Can you believe he's awake right now? No. Me either. Quite honestly. What were we talking about? Your wedding crashing. I will not go to a wedding uninvited. <laughs> But I'm not going to show up where I know no one. And then she no, comes you to know say, people. hey, Liz. You know the bride. You always do this. You, you know met this person 10 years ago. You're I best did. friends. I'm like, no, was, I don't She know went them. to your house. We went to a party with her. You know her. It was going back. I was going to be there with you, you today you because this was going to be my escape from reality. I was going to have fun. I was going to try to <laughs> forget about my problems. And you're upset that problems. I invited you to a wedding? No, I'm upset that you didn't invite me to rock climbing yesterday. Oh, and God. instead, I looked at her location. I said, wait, wait, what are you doing in Burbank right now? She goes, first of all, I'm not in Burbank. And I said, well, the map doesn't lie. You were in Burbank. No, I was so. literally <laughs> down the street from your house. Well, it started out in Burbank. The story I'm, starts in Burbank. No, it doesn't. The story starts in Van Nuys, girl. <laughs> and then I did, like a crazy person, I did direct to her end location 20 minutes later because I was out of the house. I was having a moment. I was like, I just need to go drive around. And so I looked where she was. I hit directions to her on Find My Friends and realized it was only 10 minutes away. And I thought, hmm, maybe I should go crash the rock climbing session I wasn't invited to. I took, I'm, so I'm making a horror film. Mm -hmm. Peep the Kickstarter. We have launched the preview. Really? You haven't yeah. sent it to me? Well, I'm going to finish it tonight, but by the time this is live, it'll be a live okay campaign. So we'll, well it's not a live campaign it's a preview i did a bunch of research when our campaign failed and so i've learned a bunch of things about running a successful campaign and the first of which is you can't ask for that much money the second of which is you gotta plug it for a month before you actually go live mm -hmm. because if you don't raise 50 percent of the funds on the first day you're fucked so go click subscribe to my Kickstarter campaign so that when it does go live you can drop a dollar i will put that link in our description section below uh but I I took the two actresses rock climbing because it's a it's a movie and it's set in the outdoors and the two leads are on a camping trip and so my actors need to know how to rock climb so I'm taking them indoor rock climbing and outdoor rock climbing and teaching I think them to rock. I climb. would be a great advantage to Honestly, being there. And instead, because I wasn't invited, I just tried to keep it cool, and I just went and ate Chipotle alone in my car. Was keeping it cool sending me six violent text messages? <laughs> Describe violent. Well, first, you stalked me. Well, you love when I do that. I do. I do love when you do that, but I'm looking for attention right now. But yeah, first, you stalked me, then you verbally assaulted me. 
The amount of honey hair in my lips is too fucking much. <laughs> Sorry. She's getting groomed tomorrow. Thank God. It's in my mouth. I could start <laughs> gagging. I was going to compare that to something else, but... Mm. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> Does that happen to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> It's the most Sick. frequent time. <laughs> the air, then you're like, hold on, <laughs> like fishing it out of your Honestly, teeth. Honestly, what if I just it throw up get... on you? <laughs> it How are you getting get in your stung... teeth? <laughs> How much teeth are you using while you're going down on your husband? <laughs> Why is it stuck in your teeth? I don't know. Are you Ask going him. in like this? And then sometimes it always gets stuck, like it's flossing my teeth, and I'm like, oh, this is. Are really you just throwing... pounding your teeth on his mom's penis? <laughs> Do men have mons pubises? Is that the little bump? I'm asking a doctor. <laughs> you think a doctor watches our show? Yeah, I think doctors love this show. If they're watching this show, they really want to hang out with a couple of idiots <laughs> just to feel a little bit of enlightenment yeah. at the end of the day. To really feel like their doctor is worth something. Uh -huh. I get it. Although I was watching this video yesterday. Never mind. Finance what? is crazy. No, it was just explaining uh, how the typical American drink. Well. It was Shelby Church. Hey, girls, if you know her on YouTube, she was just talking about the American dream and how it's kind of dead. Yeah. But she was citing a lot of different people and showing um, a plumber's net worth versus a doctor's net worth right out of college. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, because it, t it costs almost half a million dollars to go to medical, uh, to medical school and takes 10 years of your life, that now it's almost not even worth it to mm -hmm. go to all this schooling because by the time you're actually making great money... You're with dead. inflation and all of this stuff it's, can we even buy a house with that money anymore in los angeles no so another way to be depressing today what were we talking about <laughs> <laughs> the american dream is dead it kind of is yeah no it is it's devastating but here's the deal i've decided i'm not going to be a cog in the machine and i'm going to enjoy my life how enlighten me i just um i'm going into it with the case of the fuckets <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. sure, we're facing an impending civil war, but fuck it. I'm going to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got Olivia Rodrigo tickets in August. Everything's fine. <laughs> and I think her crumble cookies are coming to L.A. next week. Why? Because it goes along where she... Is she here next week? No, she's here in August. Shane I've told you sent this us. five fucking times. I think they're up. here next week. They're in Palm Springs today, but I'm not driving two and a half hours for no. the cookie. So I think her collab comes to Los Angeles next week. So that will be on the I podcast. I thought it was when the shows were here. I did too. But then when you go on the Crumble website and type in our location, it says the Olivia cookie will be here next week. Confusing. So you'll catch us eating that cookie right here next week. Okay. Um... Today, we're going to try secret menu items at Taco Bell. And Ooh. if we're feeling adventurous, then we will pop right over to Erwan and try <gasps> that Hailey Bieber soft serve collab at Erwan. There's a soft serve? So she had that smoothie that you and I tried. Yeah. I made an Instagram reel back. That was in the summertime. That was literally the day of my birth. And that was my birthday. It was April 28th. That was your birthday? Are you kidding? That's what we did days. for my birthday. <laughs> Tried the Haley Bieber smoothie? Yes. Remember? We went for a hike and then we got lunch. You forget so easily. <laughs> no, I just don't know which day And we day went is... shopping at Madewell. Yeah. Should we drop affiliate and links? And I got my sweaty ass shorts. <laughs> you did. That was where you got your sweat. Those are the gifts that keep on giving to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if we I mean there's a Taco Bell right next to an Erwan in Calabasas maybe we'll hit them both if Ooh. we have enough time and that's like a fun dichotomy of things like the worst of the worst and then like supposedly the best of the best but it's still soft serve ice cream I toxically spent my before bedtime insta stalking this girl that I knew 10 years ago and I found out that she sells a mushroom brand in Erwan now and is it doing well for her? Probably not. I feel like her parents invested in it, and that's about it. It says August 11th through August 18th for Calabasas. Then what did Shane send me? Probably Palm Springs. I wouldn't be shocked if you read it wrong. It seems like every time Shane gives you a directive, you <laughs> like you only hear what you want to hear. I need him to ex execute it for me. I need him to say, <laughs> they're coming to the house, babe. He doesn't call me babe. God bless you. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. And especially yeah. this week, I'm a nightmare. Since I saw you last, my world has crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I had just no, somebody. Kidding. Sometimes I'm just kidding when I say that, but this time it's not a kidding. This time it feels real. Yeah. This is real. Um, this is me. What is that song? I don't know. Oh, is that Greatest Showman? Well, I feel like I could pass out right now. Do you want to take a little nap? <laughs> I would love to. Do you want to breastfeed and Chris and I can finish the show? Are you producing milk? I no. hear that it's great. 
for the that, body <laughs> honestly i okay i'm gonna sh- i'm gonna overshare right now are you ready before we talk about your crumbling world i have a rash between my ass cheeks and i think it's because my cheeks are chafing well they've gotten that juicy during and pregnancy all i can think of to myself is wow i can't wait for breast milk because i hear breast milk kills a rash really fast and i'd love to put my own breast milk between my cheeks right now <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. And I don't know. Let's talk about your crumbling world. No, I don't know if it's frowned upon, but the husbands always try, right? The milk? Yeah. I don't. There's no way Joe wouldn't be curious to be like, let me get a lick. And if it's not, I mean, kind of hot, right? No. Really gross. In my opinion, yucky. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yucky. Maybe I'm doing saying something really bad right now. Then I don't think you are. I think it's most a source people, of food. I think most people are like, it's so beautiful. And like, yeah, of course me has been tasting my breast milk. But it's like, if he is tasting my breast milk, I don't want to see it. <laughs> like, that's just honestly the <laughs> look of breast milk. taking a lick from the first, <laughs> pouring his own glass. <laughs> the look of breast milk to me sometimes is enough to be like, Bleh! it's like separated milk. Like, it just when it's a little bit see-through and sometimes it's a little bit yellow. And then what comes out first is the colostrum. So like a big part of it for me is just getting over the mental hump of how yucky breast milk seems to me. And like, yes, it's beautiful and it's so cool and it's so good. And it's so it's like liquid gold and like I'm all about it. But it's also like <laughs> that shit is kind of yucky, right? I mean, I don't know. I've never had any. Have you but you've seen it? I don't think I've you been with Google a lactating it. woman. Google it. It's yucky. <laughs> <laughs> Today's podcast is sponsored by Factor, and Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. These meals are ready in just two minutes, and they also have snacks, smoothies, and you can discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Each week, you'll have over 35 different options, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. Factor is also flexible for your schedule. You can get it as much or as little as you need by choosing from six to 18 meals a week. Plus you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. I can't emphasize enough. The thing that's amazing about Factor is you get incredible quality meals. There's no cooking or cleanup. It's 100% ready to heat and eat. So head to factormeals.com slash SIP50 and use code SIP50 to get 50% off. That's code SIP50 at factormeals.com slash SIP50 to get 50% off and try these truly delicious, wonderful meals. So your world's crumbling. Yeah, so since I saw you last, I had a guy coming to do routine maintenance in our crawl space. (laughs) He was gonna just make sure all the crawl space ventilations and fans were up to par. Plot twist, they're not. He gets there, we're powwowing about how the day's gonna unfold. Two minutes later, I get a knock on my door and he goes, hey, so I can't do the work because (laughs) your crawl space is flooded. Whoa. Sometimes I wonder if Ryland's like taking a hose down there for attention and just flooding his crawl space so he has something to talk about. <laughs> and when I tell you I could jump out of my own body and off of a cliff right now, yeah. I mean it. Yeah. I just did three months of this and it's a full time job when there was a leak in the house. Yeah. Now this has gone from the leaks fixed, everything was fixed, we did all of that work, and now it's fall off from the rainwater. It's flooding into my crawl space and what's most fucked up is it's like in a way that i don't think he can do anything about it because it's kind of just seeping in through the earth correct (laughs) so our neighbor's property we're at the base of what is a mountain so when it rains as hard as it did last week in los angeles yeah it all comes down the mountain and the grading isn't low enough to continue to go to the street for my property my neighbor's property next door so instead it creates this pond like atmosphere and i have a lower elevation so why don't you just just embrace the pond then you have a pond at both your houses this pond is going through the soil into my crawl space Make it, and there's a foot it. and a half of water put in some, my crawl put space some koi fish down anymore, there. <laughs> and it's in the subfloor and on the floor. I had just replaced all the ducting for the AC. I had just taken out, not me personally. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have seen it in a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> taken out all the insulation and repaired new ones. I had just had it heat blasted and mediated. I had got this crawl space all good to go for me and my family. Now it's flooded again, and the process starts all over with a new process. A new process because this isn't a leak; this is a natural disaster, oh God. and I can't do anything because the property next door. It? I don't know. I've submitted a check. claim. Yeah, I, I've opened a claim, but the adjuster comes out in a couple of days, and then they'll determine whether or not insurance will He's cover just it. Come here and say 
fuck you. But they might cover the remediation of getting the water out, but then I need a long-term solution to keep the water from coming into the crawl space. Embrace it. Make a pond. I don't know if you do, can embrace it when I'm meeting. Do glass floors like an aquarium. Literally, since I've seen you last, I have gotten nothing else done but schedule and meet with contractors, fill different sorts of work, try to figure out where the source of all the water is coming from, because at first we thought it was our drainage, and it was just backing up from our own hill and our own mountain, and maybe our drainage, we've had this house for five years we had never hydro jetted it to make sure that the lines are clean after we did all that they're pumping the water out for a day and a half they realize the water's filling back up that's when i realized there's a pond next door <laughs> so then i'm like trying to contact them to see if they will do anything to help their flooding go to the yeah. street instead of into my house but i still need a backup system and as i'm getting quotes it's like an ungodly amount of money yeah and just trying to navigate this while I have three dogs that bark at anything that comes to the house. I have to lock them up and close the blinds in whatever room they're in so they're okay. And then I have two babies yeah. that I'm trying to raise race <laughs> while I'm trying to coordinate all these things. Adults. And two cats because they're also coming in and out of the house because there's access to yeah. the crawl space. It's a nightmare down there the way that the concrete's poured. You can't just walk, whatever. So his world is crumbling, crumbling down. And then right when I'm starting to think we're at the point where we're going to start executing on what we think is our solution, another torrential downpour I is happening to, right now. And I tried to warn him, Chris. I texted him. I was like, hey, just so you know, it's going to start raining. And if you want to maybe put sandbags down there or something, he goes, fuck you. It's not going to rain that much, you fucking bitch, stupid No, fuck. that's not what I said. She just said, hey, the rain's starting. And I was like, you don't think that's all I've thought about for a week? Now? No, you, I think you all you're telling said, me is that you. my house is flooding. Hold on, I'm going to review my house is going to continue messages. flooding. Girl, my house I was is going to lift off this foundation and ass. fly into a new dimension. And it's just. I like, said, heavy rain comes tonight. Do you want me to kill you? What are you trying to accomplish with this? That is what he said. I said, yeah, do you want me to kill you? What are you trying to accomplish with this? Because it's like, yeah, I know my house is flooded. I know I that said, it's going to flood again. I said, what and then do you when mean? When I had looked at the weather, it said in this next two days, it was only one inch of rain expected. I said, I'm warning you so you're not caught off guard. And I said, all I've been doing is watching the weather and praying to God that my house doesn't flood more. I said, I don't know. Maybe you could throw some sandbags down there now that you have a warning. He said, I have some pumps running. I have like, some. Like, I'm Mother Earth bringing <laughs> the rain instead of just a concerned fucking bitch who's watching her best friend's life crumble. Okay, your intentions might have been well, but and it was in the middle of me having, I mean... I've already painted the picture, but just imagine <laughs> two newborns, three dogs, two cats, flooded house, a million contractors and trying to coordinate them. They're always late. Contractors are never on time. God bless them. They're trying to get to and everyone like, whose houses are also flooded. Sometimes because, it also feels like they're trying to pull one over on you. Well, and that's the hard part. And what I've learned over time and time again, you've got to get multiple quotes because you don't know who's going to try to get the quick temporary fix. And you're going to have this problem again in a year. You got to really fill out and try to understand the problem problem yourself and oversee as they're fixing yeah. it and try to get as involved in possible as possible or they're just going to do the bare minimum and you're going to be flooded again in a year <sighs> <laughs> well i've got some good news what remember when i told you i had a uti uh-huh i guess i didn't I guess i didn't have a uti you know what's really crazy about that <laughs> what i didn't have any symptoms so what is this? I All this I knew about your UTI <laughs> is that it was on the document last week. It was like, Lizzie has a UTI. And then because we got so insane last week, we never talked about it. Well, so what had happened was, is they did a big bunch of butt blood panels on me. <laughs> butt panels. Blood, but, but no butt they panels. a bunch of butt I've stuff I've been begging on you. for butt stuff and no one will give it to me. I will. No. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know what you do with those teeth, I don't know what the fuck you're going to do with my butthole. Anyway. <laughs> so and a urine test and um like i'm used to when i get my results back they're like they don't call me for two months and then they're like guess what it's really bad but now we can't do anything to help you because it's been too long and so i was like well i'm gonna google all my results that are abnormal and i did and all of them were like you have a uti and i was like that's crazy i don't even feel like i have a uti <laughs> so then i started acting as if i had a uti and I <laughs> what does that mean i started acting as if i had a uti <laughs> like a victim <laughs> <laughs> and then I called my doctor multiple times and was like, listen, you guys never call about results, so I need to talk to the doctor because 
I have a UTI. And then I finally get on the phone with her and she goes, you don't have a UTI. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? And she was like, I'm pretty sure you don't have a UTI. Like I'm looking at all your results and there's a normal amount of like bacteria and that a pussy would have. And I was like, oh, maybe I talked myself into it. <laughs> she goes, do you want to just get another test just to be sure? And I said, yes. And so I took another test and I vlogged it. I went to the Kaiser and it was a mess. Vlogging, taking a pee test, not a good idea. <laughs> and so you have another pregnancy appointment today? Today I have just a blood test for the genetic testing and to know whether or not it's a boy or a girl. And what are we going to do about that? <sighs> We're going to find out. No, I know. But is there going to be a gender reveal party? Yeah, no. No, what? No. Um, Joe was really cute, and he the other day we were. I don't. I feel like I already told you this, but we were sitting somewhere, and Joe goes, "Oh, he's got the chills thinking about the gender." And I was like, "What do you mean?" And he goes, "Well, I just wish I could play an instrument because then I could find out and play an instrument in like a restaurant or something, and a song, and the song would tell you what the gender like was." Like a harp. Yeah, I don't know. And then he, I said, "Why don't you just pick a song and play it on your fucking phone?" Your man is wild. He's so cute. She sent me a video the other day when it was freezing at like 7 a.m. And her husband was shirtless in the backyard playing with squirrels. And I said, is he not cold? <laughs> He's my little Snow White. Is he not cold? He had to feed the squirrelies. He runs hot. He runs hot. He's like a fucking... So he's naked in this rain outside right now? I'm pretty sure he's got Viking blood. He probably is. What's the temperature of your house? Because you're free... Like, right now, Chris and Lizzie, they have the heat on. They're complaining that it's cold. Uh, let me tell you what the temperature is outside. Probably 42. Oh, hey, Snapchat. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I was trying to Snapchat today. Somebody's got to pay for all this damage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay were you not going to check the temperature it said 54 outside but Freezing. indoors where Freezing. there's insulation it's probably a little warmer than that it definitely and after feels the like it's not over 60 degrees in here like, like, it's we're cold freezing, as fuck right Chris freezing. I run cold I'm a cold running person no you're not I literally no, am you literally have you are met not. my husband have you been I'm inside of my house I'm right now in a t-shirt and short shorts in the fucking 54 degree weather <laughs> well I, I can see your testicles your shorts are so goddamn short I was stomping around in rain boots and shorts this morning trying to trying to divert the mud away from my you're house you just like get <laughs> go like that screaming. way screaming Shane's so over me he's like we're fine I was like no we're not there's sitting water under the house it's gonna grow mold our insulation is compromised and it's gonna seep through our walls and everyone's gonna get diseases and die I was <laughs> acting like your husband wow it was crazy yeah. <laughs> the only difference is you're actively poisoning everyone with parabens around you and, and that's what's crazy so now we're gonna have to can you believe i'm talking about this again they're mm. gonna have to grade that I, I really <laughs> feel like i got us away from it and then we just went right back right like i did my best you guys <laughs> sorry do you want me to tell you about the doctor i hate that can't stop hitting me up I mean, it depends does it lead back to your flooding <laughs> <laughs> everything leads back to the flooding then no I let you know right then now no, i don't want to hear about it until this construction is over and the pipes that a lot of the pipes that are also tell me about also the fucking doctor i'm sick of your pipes is under my flagstone that's also gonna have to be ripped off also like just as a non-homeowner non-homeowner you should be yeah i'm just hearing so home. many words that i don't know and i'm just have like why american would i ever dream. buy a fucking house it's like do we want to have the american dream at this point i mean it doesn't to be honest like your american dream sucks <laughs> do you want to talk about your doctor that you hate or do you want to talk about how i got recognized at costco let's do that it seems a little more positive <laughs> well so here's the deal guys as you know i'm a girly who goes to costco a lot have you visited the one by me? Again? I will never go back to that Costco. That Costco is fucking dead to me. It's the prettiest one, though. I could set it on fire. <laughs> okay. And the other thing is, I was thinking about this while I was picking up my zucchini at my Costco. There is no number set for zucchinis in a bag. It's a weight. It's 3.5 pounds. Why don't you go back so to... So if there was fucking eight zucchinis in that bag, bitch, it's because it equaled 3.5 pounds, not because there's six fucking zucchinis per bag, you nasty slut. I'm so fucking over that bitch. <laughs> I could go back there today and say something to her. And I might not even be her. But I would say it to somebody else that looks like her and be like, listen, bitch. <laughs> like, I could lose Just it. don't call her the C word on camera. Did I already? I don't know. Because <laughs> then anyway, we get demonetized. <laughs> I was checking out and the cashier goes, I recognize you. And I was like, oh, he goes, you come here a lot. I said, yeah. I said, okay, see you later this week because your broccoli's moldy and I didn't get a rotisserie chicken. Bye. <laughs> and that was me getting recognized. He recognized my phone cover. Wait, what? He recognized my phone cover. He's like, I know you. I recognize your phone cover. What? Yeah. 
What? It's recognizable. Oh, I don't have it on. So he doesn't know you. He knows your phone cover? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, he knows me and my phone cover. That's your identifier is your I mean, phone cover? It's very identifiable. <laughs> <laughs> but like your face wasn't enough. It had to be that. Yeah. What's up with that guy? <laughs> I'm a redhead. I'm a beautiful redhead. You don't recognize me? How do you feel about redheaded men? I like them. My Well, this is going to get me in trouble, so I'm just not going to say it. Okay. <laughs> because <laughs> like jared is so cool i love jared but then when i was working out the other day there was a redhead in the locker room that really and it could have just been he sucked right but then it like it almost made me redhead phobic i've met <laughs> because I've met i was like are they suck. all like this like well when you said that i was like i wonder if it's this one redheaded guy that i met on it set probably one time. is <laughs> it probably is. i'm is serious he, is he like does he seem like he works in the electric department on a set yes <gasps> Tall. Does his name start with a G? Ta- name dropping everyone he's ever met. Oh, really? And being awful. And I just thought. In the locker room, was he naked? I don't know. Do you see naked men in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. I mean, I shower after yoga. Is it a private I'm, shower or are you like naked? Yeah, it's a private shower. But then I guess it just depends on how you choose to get dressed in, the locker, get dressed in the locker room afterwards. I mean, I wear my towel until I get to my clothes. Yeah. And then I put my boxers on. So my dick's out for like three seconds. Wow. <laughs> but I'm facing the locker room. It's not like I'm facing outward being like, hey, guys. Doing a little helicopter But dance. there are some guys that are. And it's always the older guy, you know, the, the ones that are just walking around the locker room with their dicks flopping around them. It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's Monday. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so let's talk about this doctor that you hate. Wait, weren't we talking about redheads? Did you have more to say? No. Is that problematic of me to categorize all of the redheaded no, men as it's being like maybe when I horrible? Think, when I think of people with a specific name, I'm like, oh, all people with that name are awful. Well, give us one. Oh, well, here's an example. <laughs> My godmom, who I call Kissy, her legal name is Christina. And I'd love to name my child after her if it's a girl. But I fucking hate the name Christina because of a girl I went to school with when I was younger. Right. She's a real piece of shit. <laughs> so now I feel like every girl named Christina is probably a real piece of shit. But <laughs> Kissy's a really great person, which is confusing. But again, I called her Kissy, not Chris or Christina. Okay, so you remember the doctor appointment I went to? Yeah. Uh, she just rubbed us the wrong way. I felt like, and I didn't say it because I never feel like I'm... Was this for you or the babies? For the babies. So this is the one where the girl was like, can you feed them? Yes. Okay. So she's and been hitting you up? My mom was like, it seems like she was homophobic. And I'm never the one to go to, oh, that person was homophobic because I just feel like they aren't, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe she was. I have no idea. She didn't like us, I don't think. It was a it was a me problem. I don't think she gelled with us. So we never scheduled another appointment. I called and canceled my appointment with her. And I did always think, wow, it's kind of weird that she never followed up to be saying hey when's your next appointment gonna Mm -hmm. be because when you have a newborn you go to the doctor's appointment a lot and then i checked the mail the other day and i got a a survey from the actual company itself not the individual doctor but they wanted me to rate my experience so i thought wow they're on to me not booking another appointment i thought oh this is too much work i have two newborns i don't have time to fill out this big long survey so I go on about my day. They send me another mail. Then they send me an email. And then motherfuckers started calling me. And you want to know the worst part about them calling me? No. The service came through where I always drop you on my walk. I'm always trying to have a conversation with Lizzie when I walk yeah. my dogs. But I always lose service. And she goes, ah, can't hear you. Okay. Well, I guess this is the end. We always Goodbye. last eight minutes. After Lizzie and I lost service, guess whose fucking call came through? <gasps> the doctor. And they what? can hear me loud and clear. What? And I said... <laughs> How can I hear an annoying call that I don't want to get, but I can't hear my best friend when we're in the middle of gossiping? (laughs) And so the first person sounded a little bit too robotic. I thought it was a voice machine, so I hung up. And then when I was walking the next day, I got another call from a different person. And I thought, oh, I think I just hung up on a real person yesterday. That's so funny. Because this call came through again. And so I'm answering the phone call. I had had a stressful day. The leak's happening. I'm trying to get back to the kids, but I'm also trying to walk my dogs because I don't want them to feel neglected now that we have two kids. And I want to just make sure my whole family feels loved. This call comes through. Hey, do you want to take... They have 40 fucking questions before we get to the survey. And I said, hey, how long is this going to take before we actually get to the survey? He goes, oh, just a few more questions. And I said, and then how long is the survey? Just about 10 minutes. And I said, okay. Fuck I'm not, off. I said, I'm not going to have time for this, but the experience sucked. 
and I hate you. And he goes, <laughs> okay, I understand. And I said, well, are you going to relay that information? He goes, no, not unless you submit to the survey. And I said, okay, never mind. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but big the on amount the, of fuck you they would hear from me. Like, big, I'd show up. Big on the company itself, though, to follow through and get that feedback. But then I thought, is it too much of me to leave this doctor a bad review? Like, No, that maybe, she was an asshole. But maybe I was the asshole. I mean, I think you just existed and she was an asshole. That's what I think, too. But then sometimes I don't care enough to go down and give her a bad review i mean you don't have to give her a bad review but if you want her to be better at her job you can say hey you're coming off as homophobic bitch i mean if she's working for the hetero couples of calabasas then good for her right i don't think there's that many gay right. gay dads around there's probably more gay dads around than you think a few it's pretty rare because it's have you taken it, a survey uh no <laughs> but how many gay dads do you know how many gay dads do you know i have a few Really? Yeah. You never put me in contact with them well, when I was all different ages. Conceiving. So age is nothing but a number, well, Mama. Like some are like grown and retiring with children that are our age. Do you want to be friends in. with them? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I do better with older people. Oh, like really old people? No matter how old. Okay. <laughs> I'll connect you to some people. <laughs> okay. Do you want to be friends with Joel and his husband? Do they have kids? No. Then no. <laughs> okay. are they who passed on our movie yeah definitely don't want to be friends with them. <laughs> they still believe no, in the movie i'm just kidding yeah i love them you're done okay uh so what are you crying oh it's pregnancy yeah have you cried about me yet <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> okay since shane didn't go into your dreams about him on his podcast now we can roll it back over to our podcast isn't that funny how life works out sometimes <laughs> so i have been having crazy pregnancy dreams is that normal do you well, know i had crazy pregnancy dreams and i wasn't pregnant well so like i keep having really weird dreams like about you and shane i didn't know i was in them mm -hmm. am i dick out no oh okay so the first dream i had was that i was alone with shane in a car and we were just like doing stuff and he's talking to me about how you guys have an open relationship, which you don't. No. <laughs> but in my dream, he's talking about this. And he goes, yeah, so I just met this guy. And like, usually I don't want to bring him back home and introduce him to Ryland. But I really like him. And I'm, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, why in the fuck are you telling me this? <laughs> why in the fuck are you talking to me when Ryland is my best friend? And everything you're saying to me right now makes me want to deck you in the fucking face. Oh. You liked him. You want to bring him home and introduce him to my friend. This is literally my dream. These are the thoughts I'm having in my dream. <laughs> I can't believe that it's about Shane and I's relationship. And I don't think it's based on anything at all. Like, that's what's so crazy. Like, I've never had a weird conversation with Shane ever about anything. So for this to be something that I'm dreaming about in such detail that we're, like, driving somewhere. And he's, like, talking to me, like, yeah, like, I really, so I'm going to invite him and see if we want to have it. And I'm just like, <gasps> <laughs> so mad. Woke up mad. Woke up <laughs> mad about it. Like, didn't want to look Shane in the face ever again. And then it snowballed. And a few nights later, I had another dream. But this was after I was watching this wrestling show called Outside the Ring. Or, Super gay. Or, like, Beyond the Ring or something. But it's really dark. Wrestling's so gay. No, it's really dark. Like, everybody, all the wrestling legends have, like, drinking, drug problems, murder, death, suicide, fucking horrible shit. Like gnarly abuse in their family as kids so it's like wwe or like college wrestling WWE. where they put the gay little tight suits on where you can see their whole nutsack i mean all of it is arguably gay presenting <laughs> 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 but i just i don't know it fucked with my head before bed and then in my dream shane was just butt ass naked for no reason and it wasn't even like it wasn't sexual he was just dick out you're going to leave out the other person that was dick out? Well, yeah, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get there. And then the other person that was there, and we were like, just, you know, again, just chilling, like not doing anything out of pocket. My dad was there. <gasps> and my dad and Shane were both dick out. And I, I yeah, said, was and it gay? No, it wasn't gay. It was There was nothing sexual about it, but both of them were dick out. What? Just two guys changing yeah, after yoga? No, no one was even changing. They were just like, we're dick out. And it wasn't even, there was no car. I just was like, you guys, why are your dicks out? Like, what's going on? Why is my dad hanging out with Shane at all? What are we doing? What? You weren't there. Where are you in my dreams to keep me safe? 
<laughs> so what does that mean? Why am I dreaming about Shane like this? Have you dreamt about your unborn child yet? No. I think it will start happening soon. Oh, God. I was having very vivid dreams about my unborn children. Mm, I wonder if I'll... Because it's like, honestly, it's kind of hard because they're so blobby in my mind right now because I don't know the gender. And I still really struggle to comprehend like and believe like i have like imposter syndrome about being pregnant i'm like me no, no. I, I didn't mean to laugh it's just <laughs> no it's weird it did like it yeah like i want to write a whole a whole fucking horror movie about a woman who's just like i'm not pregnant and it's like mm, girl you are uh, you'll start to believe it soon i feel it and see it and feel it see it yeah i'm bloaty as thick and what are your symptoms as of late sadness oh. I, cr- I scream cried because i love mr buzz for 45 minutes and joe was like what's can i help you and i was like no you can't help and she's, <laughs> she's texting me and she goes no it's about my dad uh. <laughs> so i calmed down and then i opened instagram and some girl was getting a pedicure with her dad and my dad and i get pedicures and i scream, i love my dad sad sad i don't know why it's so sad it's sad can't stop crying cried at costco before checkout just did it out because i have food aversion and it's like i'm fucking hungry man like i'm really hungry but everything i make i'm like oh i know how that was made now and that's <laughs> disgusting <laughs> like i made enchiladas and i was like i can't eat those those looked so good i, I was like Ugh. and then i would i would take little tiny bites of it like little food aversion bites of it like i'm gonna do three bites and it's like mm, it does taste good but it's disgusting <laughs> like i hate it um so life is really hard right now for me you should start a new series i don't i think it's that's a probably like a red flag ed thing i don't think that would be a good series no 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 no. like start like how you watch all of this is us when you weren't feeling good right i started desperate housewives again have you ever seen oh that? start watching a series yeah. i thought you meant make a series no, 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 got no, no, no. it yeah Got Jump into it. Desperate Housewives. I don't know if I could do that. It's really good. I don't think I could do Desperate Housewives. Wait, what's wrong with you? I just don't <laughs> think that it was made for me. What do you mean? I just think it was for, made for other people. Like people like me? Like maybe gay men. <laughs> like wrestling. You know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's not for me. It's about I'm, Desperate Housewives. Right. I'm like more of a Sopranos girly. <sighs> You're annoying. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your other thing or are we going to jump into something else? I just, I I wanted to say there's like small victories and you can watch my vlog because I think that people don't realize um, how mentally confounding the first trimester of pregnancy can be because you just honestly feel dead. <laughs> I just, not to be dark, but it's just like, well, my soul has left my body and I guess we'll just wait this out for 12 weeks. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like the lights are on, nobody's home. And it's like, that's okay. I just want people to know that's okay. So for I put I hadn't put any laundry away all year. I just kept doing laundry and leaving it in piles around the house <laughs> and just sort of moving the piles along if people would come over. So this weekend I folded my laundry and put it away. Because of Joe? No. Oh. Because someone called and wanted to have like a two hour phone call. So I was like, well, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put this shit away. And it felt really good. And I had honestly felt like I couldn't do it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, it's not depression, but it's very similar. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. I can't do That's that. That's why I called you this. I mean, I'm not even pregnant. And I had to call you this morning to do my dishes. I said, nothing. I need something to entertain oh, me while I do this. This is nowhere near as dramatic as your drama. But my fucking dishwasher is broken. And so I had to do all the fucking dishes by hand. And Joe has a thing about sponges because he just thinks they're bacteria sponges but i bought like a fucking costco pack of sponges so it's like all right we'll use one and throw it away if you're gonna be fucking weird about it and he's like no i want you to use this scrubber that's like got a handle on it and then a scrubber at the end yeah that's what normal people use like a lot like for everything when you have to actually wash a dish not just scrub it off and put it in a dishwasher no i scrub it with that and then once that debris is off that's fine then i jump in with my hands and soap exactly Exactly. but with a sponge right no with my hand that's you run your bare hand over a plate I don't really do. Is that that's weird as fuck, right, no, Chris? No, 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 no. You <laughs> yeah, guys listen. He's nodding profusely. No, you take the scrubber yeah. to that plate, uh huh, and then it's clean because there was the dishwashing soap on it. Okay, and then you around with the water. 
I'm not, I'm not going to put a, a dirty... A, the sponge is sick. And the, the sponge is way worse than my clean hand. Are you, you kidding me? But then you put it in your washing machine, correct? Well, I do, yes. But if my dishwashing machine was broken, then I would... And put it on a towel to dry. Right. But I would not put, take a... I, we have a sponge sitting in there. I don't know if my psychopath husband put it in there. But I avoid it. And I kick it around with the long the wow, long maybe brush you should I'm like, start sucking joe's dick you know i did start thinking what did you say about joe this week that uh, i said you wanted to eat at the table with me oh yeah lizzie was so mad at joe because he suggested they eat dinner at the oh, table that was one of the things that got the laundry that started the laundry i had to fold my clothes and move them off the table because joe wanted to eat thanksgiving what is it called that we just had valentine's day valentine's day dinner at the dinner table and Lizzie was so mad that he wanted to eat at the table. And I said, Shane won't eat with me at the table either. Maybe I should marry Joe. <laughs> Even though we have communication problems, the two of us. Dude, Joe got me a card for Valentine's Day, which was nice. I got him nothing. I'm making his child. Anyway, <laughs> I opened the card and it's a happy birthday card. <laughs> what? It, like, it says happy birthday to my otter half and has a little otter on it. And it's like, <laughs> I was like, baby, did you read this? <laughs> Shane's he's like i thought it was cute with the otters and i was like bro this is happy birthday he's like it was in the valentine section it's like do you know how <laughs> do you know how much value i give the words of a fucking card you get me and his family's always joking like we just picked a card and now i'm like they've never been joking <laughs> none of the cards these motherfuckers have given me then mean why shit. even get one that's what i'm saying guys just give me some cash like, <laughs> give me the 875 you paid for this fucking card you didn't read the fuck I'm so upset about it, too. And I was just like, well, you can't get upset because you didn't do anything for him. But then I remembered, I made that motherfucker enchiladas. <laughs> Shane had, had been getting me gifts. He had never stopped getting me Valentine's Day gifts. Oh. So when I saw something I liked for him, I screenshotted it. And I said to myself, I'm going to go back and purchase that when I have a second. Yeah. And so Shane always, is always going through my photos. I, I don't know why. He just... I think... Because if I've taken pictures, he airdrops them to him. And then he puts them on his stories or whatever. And then he goes, what's this? about the present I was going to get him. What and I go, it? well, you ruined the one fucking present I was going to get you. Aww. It's like a Teddy uh, cover for a laptop. You know, that Teddy oh, fabric teddy. he Ooh, loves. Yeah. And it like perfectly fits the MacBook Pro. And did he so, love it? Well, so then I did order it. He, I, he had spoiled it for himself because he saw that I had screenshotted what it. an idiot. And now it hasn't gotten here. I ordered it three weeks oh, ago no. and it must be from one of these scam websites where I'm either never going to get it or four months from now it's going to show up at my doorstep. But Do it you, had really good reviews and it's gorgeous and I paid quite a bit of money for it. Do you think your neighbor who threw your mail in the bushes threw it in the bushes again? No, because I also, went and I looked and it says it hasn't been shipped yet. And so then Shane goes, well... I don't even know how it came up. He had got me all these things. And then we were talking about Valentine's Day. And I go, yeah, I really flopped, didn't I? Your gift never came. <laughs> and then he jokingly, he was like, well, yeah, you could have just done like a card or something. And so yesterday when I went to run errands, when I went to eat Chipotle alone in my car, yeah. I stopped at Ralph's and got him a Valentine's Day card. Are you sure it didn't and say happy I birthday? Get, I, yeah, I no, I s sat in the card section for 12 minutes. Yeah, and See, I found that's a me really in the card cute section. Valentine's Day Winnie the Pooh one yeah. that was bedazzled. Ugh. So it was the perfect Shane card. Yeah, see, that's how I am about my card giving, and then I just get a happy birthday. Four days late, but he still got his Valentine's Day card. Well, usually, and when I say usually, I mean one year, you and I went and got his stuff. And so, no, honestly. For, I would say for the last, like, year and a half for every event, we'll go out and have a shopping spree for them. But in our defense, he had us record his podcast right after our podcast, which is when we would normally go shopping for him. But I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh, God, I bet Ryland didn't do shit for Shane because we didn't get him anything. <laughs> And I felt responsible for that, Shane. So I'm sorry. You could be a dick out in my dreams, buddy. It's a safe space for you. Okay. Are there any hot topics you want to jump to before we go to try some things? No. <laughs> there was nothing going on in the news this week. Absolutely oh, nothing. Actually, there's one thing I could talk about. But literally, the news was so... Like, the, f the news that we like to talk about was so blah this week that literally even people on their front page was like, Taylor Swift's wearing a hat. <laughs> I'm like oh, okay so I'll just go fuck myself um, But I did start watching The new season of Love is Blind It's out check that shit out it's on Netflix It's enjoyable as hell And which one's that the I don't want to hear about it. Well no 
I'm sorry. Last time I did this, everyone was so mad that I didn't let you talk about something you were interested in. So please talk know, about it for 12 minutes. I 25 minutes on your flood. <laughs> well, thank God I had something to talk about. That's the only thing this flood is giving me. Content to talk about on this podcast. <laughs> thank you, God, for the content. Thank you, God, for blessing me thank with something to talk about. Thank you, God, for smiling upon me and my family and letting me monetize my demise. <laughs> Anyways, so new season of Love is Blind. Love is Blind is the one where the each person is in a pod and they cannot see each other. Oh, and and they, there's like a, a thin wall between them. So they talk through a wall and they don't know what they look like. Do they also get to create fake personas for themselves? No. Oh. These are, you're supposed to be authentically yourselves because the point is to fall in love with the person, not the looks. Okay. And so this girl, I believe her name is Chelsea. I don't know her, the guy she's talking to his name, but he kind of... He's like an NPC. Like you can't really he's like very soft looking. Like he doesn't really have a face, right? Anyway, she's talking to him and she goes, "So do you look like a celebrity? Do people tell you you look like a celebrity?" And he goes, "Yeah, I guess people have said I look like." She goes, "I hear the same celebrity every single time." Like she didn't want to hear who he looks like. She brought this up of her own accord to say who she looks like. And she goes, "I just I don't remember her name." Her you know is it MGK? Is it MGK's wife or girlfriend? I don't know her name. And he goes, Megan Fox? You look like Megan Fox? <laughs> and he goes, ooh! Like in his pod, he's like, hit the jackpot. I'm looking at Megan Fox. This woman does not look like Megan Fox. <laughs> at all. She has some tattoos. She does not have blonde hair. And she has blue eyes. And those are the things that she and Megan Fox have in common. Tattoos, not blonde hair, and blue eyes. That's it. And so I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's talking to another woman who is like arguably, a, it's like she's a heavy plastic surgery woman. Like her face doesn't move and she's got lip fillers and she's like, she's like an Instagram Looks like everyone in Beverly Hills. Yeah, like looks like, you know, a sex robot. Like it's like, sure, that's not an authentic beauty, but the woman is hot. Right. By, you know, a superficial standard. You got to check the hands and the neck. I think she had fine hands. Okay. What's up with the neck? Well, that's where, like, you can fix your face easily. Right, but you can't fix your neck. It's sh- like... Well, I guess that's more of age. I don't think she was busted to begin with. My point is she's just like, she's hot. Okay. You know, right. like if you're casting like a hot bimbo, she's who you cast. Okay. And so he gets into a love triangle with not Megan Fox and a hot bimbo. And at the end of it, he chooses not Megan Fox. And the hot bimbo is like, you are in for a rude awakening. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see me, you're going to choke on your choice. <laughs> Megan Fox said that? No, Megan Fox got the guy. <gasps> and the hot bimbo said that to the guy. Cut to Megan Fox, not Megan Fox. We got to call her not Megan Fox because she's not Megan Fox. Okay. <laughs> when they meet, she's nothing but insecure. And she, and she, and it's because she lied. You know what I mean? Like, no, no matter what, you're, you're setting yourself up for this weird thing where you're going to see this man face what to face. What happened when he saw the beautiful plastic surgery model? He ha- I don't think he's seen her yet because she didn't match with anyone. So she didn't end up being at the part of the show where they all are around each other. So this woman sold him a lie. Yeah, and, but she's suffering for it. So uh, in all of the testimonials, he's like, yeah, she's cute. Like I would have I would have totally. She's my type. She's attractive. She doesn't look like Megan Fox. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, when you're starting a relationship, I think if you want it to go the distance, you have to be who you are up front because there's nothing worse than somebody that changes yeah. who they said they were yeah. 180. And it's the, the poor girl is just really mind fucked herself because she's always like, do you have regrets? <laughs> do you think, am I what you thought I was going to be? Do you still like me as much as you liked me in the pots? And it's like, that's no matter what, that's going to be some part of the anxiety. But when you tell such a grand lie, (laughs) I look like Megan Fox while pretending to not know Megan Fox's name. (laughs) It's a lot. And so she's she's in her own downward spiral. And honestly, I don't think this love is going to last because she keeps having mental breakdowns at him about whether or not he really likes her. And it's like, girl, you did this. (laughs) He doesn't have a problem with you. You have a problem. This with woman you. seems like a mess. It's well. That's what I keep thinking. It's like if I've like nothing really good happens in your life until you settle with who the fuck you are and accept it and embrace it. And it's yeah. like nobody likes being around a person who's just like I hate myself. Ah, 
<laughs> like, that's not the vibes. And it's like, I hate myself, but I'm like, whatever. But you've embraced the yeah, things. About I've got the yourself. fuck it. I hate myself. We're doomed for a civil war. And I'm so excited to be a mom. <laughs> Great. Well, with that, we will see you in the car. Okay, I'm with the squariest of squares. No, you're not. They're cold, they're scared, this they're This motherfucker, mean. it's pouring rain. We're on the oh deadliest road in America. This is... Wow, okay, we've got to come back. What is going on? Focus on something jiggle, else. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. One, take two, I guess, in the car. Not to be awful to you. They're right two. here. Okay. Take your mark. Lizzie's gotten nasty to us in the car. I'm just gonna forgive just, her for her like pregnancy. I feel like I'm fucking gonna vomit. Is it just this one thing? No. Okay, I'm gonna okay. help you. Tacos. Taco Bell secret menu. Add shredded chicken and creamy jalapeno sauce to the Mexican pizza. Okay. So you order. I got I, it. Do you? Yes, I've already looked at it before I, we it started should, rolling. You could have ordered it in the app and it'll be ready. Chris. Oh my gosh, this is crooked. <laughs> this is not our car day <laughs> with the rain. This new thing is so cool though. It follows me. Let's see how it works, you know. Get close to that curb. You are being real nasty today. <laughs> I just wish that you could be a little bit nice. I don't feel good. We're trying so hard. Can I get something that's not on the secret menu? Sure, but let me get through the secret menu first. <laughs> hello, welcome to Taco Bell. Can I get pizza today? Uh, hello. Could I get a Mexican pizza, please? Could I add shredded chicken and creamy jalapeno sauce to that? We don't have shredded chicken. Do you like the beef, or you want me to sauce it to the beef or chicken? Uh, let's do the chicken. Could I get a crunch wrap and add potatoes? And then could I get a... Uh, Two small frozen Baja Blasts and add Pepsi. Two freeze Baja Blasts? Yep, and could I add some Pepsi to each of those? Add Pepsi to them? Yes. Anything else? Could we uh, get a cheesy chicken crispinata? You got it. And then what do you want for real? One regular Taco Supreme. One regular Taco Supreme. Crunchy or soft? Crunchy, and make it two. Crunchy, please, <laughs> and could I get two of those? Thanks, guys. Chris, do you need anything? You got it. Uh, okay. The last thing is Nacho Bel Grande, but with no beans. And the chips on the side, please. So what do you mean? You want just the chips and then all the... the, the just no... On the side? Just no beans and then, yeah, chips on the side. So tell her to put all the toppings so in. So you want a separ uh, the chips separate? Yes, please. Thank you very much. That'll be forty-one dollars at the window. Thank you. So they spit in all our food, right? Like for sure. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we were just having, you know, secret menu pains. Like, yeah. I'm so anxious the whole it's time. A, it's a secret from everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This looks like cancer. It's a really nice this day. Literally that, looks right? like cancer. Elizabeth. It does. Okay, get in the back seat. It Chris like and I will asbestos. do this. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> when you say things like that, it hurts my feelings. Because now every comment in the comment section is going to be nasty about me. Well, you're just being like, all of a sudden... I'm pregnant and I'm I... sick. I'm car sick. You tried to fucking kill us on the drive here. I'm sorry, Lizzie. Thank you. That was very sweet and, like, fatherly. Oh, one more bag. So he's like, Thank let's, you. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. sweet. I hate everybody and I'm not going to come off this high horse. <laughs> Okay, well, what do you want to do? We're, I'm going to eat I've my tacos. I've spent all this money on food for <laughs> Are you the pull production the car of our over? podcast. <laughs> Are you going to pull this car over? Elizabeth? Pull it over. How dare you? Okay, maybe we should just stop. <laughs> no, This do is it. bad. No, do it! <laughs> Why won't you just fit? Because I'm having an awful week, too, and I was trying to have fun, because our job is fun. We, we get to have fun, fun with our friends. It's not my fault that guy really has chicken at a place that puts chicken in things. You're going to be such a good dad. <laughs> I already am a dad. I know, but like when they're older and when they're like, you know what I mean? They did it! Yay! Sorry, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I understand. Those ones are just sauces, Chris. When you I couldn't be more excited about this. <laughs> all right. Let's all take one deep breath. Three, two. No, it, <sighs> I was already turning it around, and now I'm being patronized. Well, now I'm like a little on edge. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay. Well, can you show them the case of the? <laughs> She's already mixing it. Okay. This oh, looks see. delicious. Whoa. Wow. I mean, there's nothing not to like about that. Here, Chris, grab a chip. 
Wow, this it does seem like the way to be ordering this. Mm. Though it also seems like they're giving does you a little it? less. I cannot pick anything up. Mm. I'm like, does it? Mm. it they seems... definitely gave less, right, Chris? Uh, it seems that's better than just the nachos themselves, though, because the cheese you get to choose select your amount. But it, it's definitely a fraction of the toppings. You well, they're get. punishing us for the way that we treated them. <laughs> We were all frustrated. Everyone involved was frustrated. You know, like we're frustrated trying to get what we need to get. They're pissed off because it's annoying as fuck. Like we're being so annoying. I do have to say though, like one of my main pet peeves is, bro, you work here every uh, day. Nobody wants but, to do like. But that's why I said do it in the app because then it's just all listed out on the screen and they just do it. I know, but we're filming a video where they want to see what we're they ordering. They want to see uh, me abuse items. a service employee. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. No, that makes sense. I'm Will sorry. Will you get yours? Chris, oh, yes. that one's specifically for you. Thank you very much. So this Appreciate is the Baja Blast with added Pepsi. Are you... I thought we were moving, but it was just FedEx. <laughs> and that's how I hit your house. <laughs> Are you even going to try this with no. all these dyes? Okay. <laughs> well, Chris and I will. <laughs> what, is, what is this again? Um, ba Frozen Baja Blast with Pepsi. With Pepsi. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Wow. I love it. I could literally lick this. How could you not like it? It's very good. <laughs> I was like, what's <laughs> was, there to think about for so long, know. Chris? <laughs> There's just a lot. It's a lot of flavors. Mm. It's a lot of, I don't <laughs> Wow. Mm. I guess I don't know. I haven't had each individually in so long. I couldn't even tell you the taste profiles of each. I think that's what I was thinking about. I think I was trying to compare it to what it was before and I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> wow. The consistency of this is incredible. Mm. Uh oh. Just put a shot of vodka in here and then... Just shoot. I should have asked for a knife. <gasps> Are these new, these little... Empanada chicken empanada things. I feel like this was part of what they just announced. I should have got three. It's chicken. Yeah, this is what? a shredded chicken em empanada, which is infuriating that they couldn't then put it on the a knife fork. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna split this? I'll just pull some off. I think this is your empanada <gasps> sauce. Oh my god! And then it comes is with it a, a blanca queso for dipping. Maybe. Uh, wow, this is like really cheesy goodness inside oh. of this. I've never tried this. I'm so excited. Do you want excited. to pull this apart and give the remainder to Lizzie? I think this is uh, ranch. You can pull it apart. If you, you go want. ahead and bite it first. Uh, 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 what uh. is this? Well, I want to try without first. I think this is dipping sauce for it. What is it? Just cheese and chicken? Just tons know. of cheese with a little bit I of chicken. I don't mind biting your bite. You sure? Yeah, that's why I'm letting you bite uh, it first. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Unless your mouth is full of cum and that was your way of trying to tell me. <laughs> is it? No. Don't lie. I'm pregnant. Mm. The consistency of this dough oh. bread. Oh my god. This might be the best thing I've had at Taco Bell in a very long time. Oh bitch! Oh no. Oh bitch! Too hot. Oh my god. It's oh so god. good. This is maybe my new favorite thing at Taco Bell. What the fuck is this? Don't know. I think they just announced it at their... Did you see how they talk about... I think I have a third degree burn on my chin. <laughs> no. It's still burning. You need to correct the burn. Here. I don't know how to help myself. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Did you see how they just had a keynote like Apple has? Like, announcing yes. all their new items? I'm so excited about everything. I think this was one of the Was things. that one of them? I didn't know it was going to start rolling out so quickly. Did it have... Did it also mention the... Did you want another bite of this? Yeah. Mm. Did it also mention the um, cheesecake? Yes. So that this, is a thing. This has like a little bit of spice to it too. I could Wait, overdose on these. <laughs> what? Mm. You don't want it now? Yeah. Wait, I'm being crazy. Because you took yes a bite. Yes or no? no? Oh, you're worried my mouth is full of cum? No, it's not that. It's like, I don't know. I have a weird thing. I'm sorry. Whoa, it's on Lizzie. <laughs> Mind your business, bitch. Get out of here. What the fuck? That's so funny. Get out of here. <laughs> Go back to Korea. Ah! <laughs> okay, is it gonna go to you? Select you, Chris. Oh my god. God damn, I don't know how that I've never felt so victimized. <laughs> that was okay, really so this Mexican pizza, it just has... Wow, that sauce does look like a game changer. But it is just chicken. 
And I don't know how I personally feel <laughs> it's about just chicken. No, it's not like shredded chicken. Like in that empanada, there's shredded chicken. Oh, I hear and you. And I don't know how I feel about their chicken chunks at Taco Bell. Like it feels their frozen chicken chunks feel suspicious to me. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm gonna try it nonetheless. I do get that chicken in their quesadilla though. And I fuck with it there. The Mexican oh. pizza in general is like my favorite. It just thing. feels like chicken that was frozen that's suspicious. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's talk about it in depth. <laughs> 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 mm. How lucky are we? Ugh. Dude, Mexican pizza is a beautiful thing. And I'm sorry that I got nasty with you when you got nasty at me. <laughs> I, I wish I wish I had stayed in my lane and just let you be an asshole. I feel like I didn't get nasty oh with you. God. I feel like you got car sick, which rightfully so. You're pregnant. Mm. There's nothing wrong with a Mexican pizza. It might be one of their like best menu items. Remember when they were like, favorite. we're not gonna make it anymore. Like I was devastated. I used to be a crunch wrap is my favorite. I think staple item, Mexican pizza is my favorite. That yes. empanada though is my new go-to. That's what I'm reaching for now. The empanada might be too much for me. Really? It's delicious, but it's like... Too much of everything? It's over. I would never do this combination again. Yeah, I think a regular Mexican pizza is just perfect. I do like the sauce though. I think I would do the, the beef and get this sauce additionally. I fuck with that. Well, let's add more sodium. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Why are their chips so delicious? Probably because they're not real chips. They're not. It's probably just like what are they? What? They're so. <laughs> I know everyone knows they're like not tortilla chip tortilla chips. Yeah, they're flour probably. They're delicious. It's just it's just boiled flour. I wish I would have asked for or a fried nut. flour. Here, you pull out your piece first, Chris. I would take a baby birding from you, just so you know. <laughs> Thank you. Even in my state. Okay, so this is just a crunch wrap with their potatoes. But their cheesy fiesta potatoes go so goddamn hard. Mm. I love it. And this is drenched in the cheese. It's placed right ah! on the top. Mm. Mm. I don't need the potatoes in a crunch wrap. You don't need the extra. Ooh. I kind of hate it. I don't mind it. I really mind it. <laughs> really? Yeah, like it's almost ruining the crunch wrap for me. Let me have it. Take it, girl. I need like a very pronounced potato bite before I, I can. I see why you wouldn't like it because it's so di it's a completely different experience. It changes it, hundred percent. I, mm. I kind of like it, but it is so different. It's crazy how one ingredient can alter the whole profile of the meal. It kind of tastes like an after barf. <laughs> like I barfed a while ago. <laughs> And I can still taste it, like an after barf. I don't know that I'd order it again, but I like it. I actually can't finish it. <laughs> and I was lit on it, and I love cheesy fiesta potatoes. Good thing you have two regular tacos in there for yourself. Do you guys want to try them? Kind of. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Open one up. It's fine. It's fine. He hates this car. Next but not last, or least but not next. What is the words? Last, last. but not least. <laughs> Could be least. I don't think so. Mm. When I was learning to swim, my mother would take me to Taco Bell after swim practice with my coach, Sunny. Really? At Club Sport and get me three Taco Supremes. Mm. And sometimes I would put them in my mouth so quick and swallow them so fast that I didn't even chew them and I'd get little cuts down my throat. You could throw back three? Yeah, dude. Damn. Mm. Oh, look. It's just like I remember it from 1996 and this weekend. Wow. When I see that taco, I think it's the time Shane. Do you remember? What? Gave Shane what? Uno. <laughs> oh. Shane gave a taco to Uno? <laughs> a, I don't know if I can say this, but a full taco. And Shane Uno never in, drinks. In one bite. So God he was drunk him. one night, and I was like, don't you dare. And actually, Chris, I don't know if I, if you care, but Chris, Jared, and I were like so stoned out of our minds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Shane like got drunk the one time he gets drunk a year. <laughs> and I never smoked. So we were all doing Me things. either. And I'm so stoned. I was like, don't you dare, Shay. Don't you dare. And he just goes. Probably the best day of Uno's life. I know. <laughs> I have a friend whose pug only likes fucking tacos from Taco Bell. But he's having one, he like won't eat anything else. He swallowed the whole thing whole though. Like it, one of course whole he, he loved it. Wild. You're crazy to get a taco like this. <laughs> I don't even think I would enjoy a taco like this. Enjoy it right now. I <laughs> <How> dare you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like so much. Wow, it is gorgeous though. Like, could this camera focus on this? No. 
Dang, that's gorgeous. <laughs> um, can you pose for a thumbnail? No, I thought we were all eating. <laughs> it's fine. I can get mine separate from yours. These all these thumbnail shots can be different. Okay, Chris, come on up here. <laughs> ah. It Fox. You know it Fox. It's good. Yeah. What do I do? I'm like encouraging you with my face. Um, I feel so, like being like that toxic mom blogger. Let him see your face, Chris. Let him see you're sad. <laughs> Uncover your mouth. No, show him. Show him you're sad. This is really good. Now tell me you're really sad. Mm. Oh, that video is <laughs> so sad. Wow, that has a really good kick. The Baja Blast Pepsi. Mm. I want a sip. <laughs> you want? Oh, okay. Here you go. You're gonna love it. It's it looks so like good. asbestos. <laughs> uh, you have flooding too, Chris. Yeah, my my car decided it just doesn't want to keep water out anymore. Where is it coming from? I don't know, but the whole, like, all the seats are wet, everything's wet. When you get in my car right now, it smells like straight up mold. It's like an intense smell. It's unbearable. So, did you get um, wet driving? No, it's just, it rained, you know, So it's like seeping and, in? Yeah, somewhere, I don't know. Ugh. And in the trunk, it, like, I'll keep my film equipment in there when I drive around and stuff. And, um... I opened the trunk and it was like uh, one night I forgot, I just didn't take the. Uh, usually I take the film equipment out and I didn't because I was tired. And then it rained for like three days straight. And then I opened it and the equipment was like in a pool of water in my trunk. Like it was just like. Is it in, fucked? In a pool. A lot. Some of it is. The stands are like rusted and stuff. And like. Your cameras are in pieces. Not for nothing. Though, right? You Not can get the rust off. <laughs> it's a bitch, but you can yeah. get the rust off. And it was mm. just like. It was such, it's been such a nightmare. And then I was like, well, at least now it's sunny again. I don't have to worry about it anymore and it'll dry out. And then it started raining again and now my car is wet again. And I'm like, oh, this is a nightmare. And somehow it's affecting everything. Like the locks don't work when I try to unlock the door. Like the button just doesn't work anymore. I have to like reach across to like lock now. I don't have a button or anything. We're all so fucked. Where's the water coming from? I, I, I it must, maybe window. At least I know the flood in my fucking husband's car is from my water bottle. But it's like, it's a nightmare. <laughs> the rain is, LA is not. People in LA are not prepared to have rain like this. <laughs> we're not, we're not set up for this. Mm -mm. We're not cut out for this. Mm -mm. You didn't finish your taco? No. You didn't love it? I don't love a crunchy It didn't taco. remind you of my childhood? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? sick. I like the potato. But you hate summer fun. I am the best in summer. <laughs> I'm the best version of myself in a summertime. I will say the Taylor Swift song August is the song I think of you. Mm. Wow, you really did fuck it up though, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> well, Yo, this was fun. You. This is incredible. I think we were all maybe just hungry. Oh, that's for sure the case with all me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm pregnant! No, I know. You have to feed me! <laughs> Non-parabens! I'm sorry I didn't feed you fast enough. <laughs> Thank you for admitting the fault. I would if this podcast wasn't three hours already. Jump over to Erwan and do Hailey Beaver soft serve. But I just can't edit that much. I think something just came out of your mouth really. Sorry. <laughs> Project Hailey. We could do that for Snapchat. <laughs> If you want to, we can, or we can do it next week. Well, I don't. Next week is gonna be, I think, the Cinnabon Wendy's collab. <gasps> mm. I do fuck with Wendy's a little bit. Mm. I haven't had Wendy's in a long time either. I wish they could make something like this that didn't scare you. You know? Do you think the green dye is like red dye forty? Just green dye forty? Yeah, because it's not just red dye forty. It's like all the yellow dyes. It's the azul dyes. Oh. That's Spanish for blue. All right, you guys. Well. This was like a dysfunctional family fight to start off this taste test. <laughs> yeah. It I was. apologize to the people that we made their lives hard at Taco Bell. <laughs> they executed on our order quite nicely, I will add. They did the damn thing. I don't think they made one mistake. You know what's shocking? What? I'm starving. Okay, let's go get that <laughs> Haley Bieber Sunday. Okay, thank you. Let's go do Snapchat. If you want to watch that, uh, go to my <laughs> Snapchat, okay? We're going to just snap along. Uh, we will see you next week. Lizzie's Kickstarter is live. Chris let us know he's actually working on more videos for his channel. Which are coming so, this month. The end of this month, a video Which is literally like tomorrow. So go <laughs> it, subscribe. 
Go subscribe to him. It will be in the description of this video as well. We love you very much. Thank you for your continued support. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sip. sip. Should we also get you guys some sandbags for your floodings?